Hey there, welcome to my curls. I'm in my bathroom today, again. It seems like I meet you all a lot in here, but I'm gonna do a little video because I'm getting a lot of questions from ladies who want to know how the gray hair is changing my curls. And I'm gonna answer that for you today. We're gonna do the video backwards, sort of. I am going to um, take a shower because I have to go to work today and I'm gonna wash and dry and style my hair. So during that process, I'm gonna to explain to you what I do to my hair, but I'm also going to answer the question along the way, is the gray hair changing my curls? So stay with me. Oh, hey, it's me, y'all, it's Renee. Welcome to my curls. And you're probably thinking, what is that woman doing? Well, I just got out of the shower and I have my husband's old t-shirt on my head. This is how I wrap my hair up when I get out of the shower. And if you have curly hair, you know that the minute you step out of that shower, you only have like one to two minutes to get your products in your hair and the hair dryer going. So I'm gonna talk fast. I'm gonna show you what I do to my curly hair. But the point of the video today is people are always asking me if the gray hair changes my curls. Does it change the texture? What's happening to it? Um, and I'm gonna answer that for you today, but I only have two minutes to get my hair going. So hang with me. What I do is I put this on my hair to kind of contain the wetness while I'm putting on my lotion and deodorant and all that stuff because I cannot stand the wet hair on my shoulders. And I'm gonna take this down. Put it around my shoulders, again, because I can't stand that stuff on me. And I just clip it with a little hair thing. I look ridiculous, I know. But I have a water bottle. It's one of those continuous mist bottles. And I am gonna wet my hair again because the T-shirt soaked up a lot of water and I want to wet my hair so it will clump together and not be a frizzy crazy mess. I'm really wetting my hair back down. Look at this curl pattern y'all on the top of my head. Look how strong that curl pattern is. It is crazy around my face. Okay the next thing I do is this bounce curl light cream gel. I'm gonna put a glob on my hand, about like that, and I'm gonna flip my head over. And I'm just crunching it. And if you can hear my hair, can you hear how wet that is? And I just kinda of crunch it in. And then this is the most important product. This is my Catwalk Curls Rock amplifier. I'm going to put one squirt, again, upside down. Okay, one more little squirt, and then I'm going to do the front. And this is important. My curls, if I don't tell them where to go, they're going to go crazy. So I'm going to get a very unruly strand and give it a twist and try to get it to clump together. And I do that around my face as well. I get a strand and I give it a twist and I just tell it the direction that I want it to go. I know this is crazy. I actually saw somebody do this and thought, well, that is the weirdest thing. And then I tried it and it really works. But it took me a long time to figure out the hair that I wanted to grab and the direction that I wanted to spin it in. So over here, like see I'm kind of straight, but I have this big curl pattern. I just bring down a chunk of hair. And you can hear it, I'm spinning it around my finger. Spin it, and then I kind of go up here and do some of these too. Okay, then after I'm done spinning, hear it? I'm just gonna crunch everything together. Okay, now we dry. I got my favorite hair dryer. This is my bed head, I don't even know what it's called, hair dryer, and I'm gonna flip my head over and I'm gonna dry the roots. Oh my God, 
gosh. Okay. That was seven minutes. And because my hair naturally goes to the side, I have a big cowlick right here. I stopped the drying process with my head this way. And I kind of turned the hair dryer off and just let my hair cool. But I, I'll keep my head tilted because I want to keep this natural progression. And then after it's had about a minute to cool, I'm just going to kind of flip my head up. And this hair will naturally fall. And if I get a crazy one, but I just want to kind of let it fall in its natural place. And my hair is about uh, 80, 85% dry. I'm wetter underneath here because I don't really care about that. I just wanted to make sure that this is all dry. It has the correct curl pattern and it's just going to air dry on its own from here on out. But that's my hair routine, y'all. And so now to answer the question that I came here for. Does the silver make my curls different? And my answer is yes, no, sort of. I don't really know. Like, that is a really, really tough question. And here's why. I colored my hair for basically 20 years-ish. And so over the course of the years, um, my hair just became more damaged from the color. And I have really, really dry hair. I hear, you know, my girlfriends always talk about if they don't wash their hair every day, their hair gets greasy. I have never had greasy hair. Like I am the exact opposite. My hair gets drier and drier every day that I go without washing it. So I just have super dry hair and I've done those little charts and tests um, to try to figure out what type of curls you have. And I think I have like a 3B or a 3C type of curl. It's just, I mean, you can tell even when my hair is still wet, I have frizziness. It's just what I do. And when I get in the shower even, I, I always joke my hair's kind of like a duck. Like the shower water just rolls off. I really have to get in there and work the water into my hair to even get my hair wet. So I have super dry hair. So the silver has changed my hair in a couple ways. You can see how straight I am right in here. I do feel like the silver hair has not taken to my natural curl pattern as much as, like look over here, you can see how curly this is because this is still color. So when the silver has grown out, I think I might be just a little bit straighter. I can say that my colored hair, I guess it would break off or because it was damaged and I would lose a lot of hair. I now know that because I'm not coloring it anymore, I am getting all of this new hair coming out. So I have a lot of short, frizzy hair going on in there. Like you can see, look at all the frizz in here, just right here. I think that's just new hair that doesn't have any length on it. It doesn't know what to do yet. It's not long enough to be able to attach itself into some of these curls. And so it just gives me a lot of frizz. And as a result of that, it lifts up my hair from my scalp and is making my hair really, really big. Now, I know I have big hair. I've always had big hair. But this new outgrowth of silver hair coming out from the base is really right now making my hair huge. Um, so I'm hoping... Once it grows, get some length on it, it'll weigh it down and it'll be able to entwine with some of these clumpier, longer curls. Cause you can, I mean, you can just see like all of that right in there. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. I went and had breakfast and um, I had another YouTube video that I needed to uh, post. So I handled that. It's been about, been about a half hour, but my hair is still really wet kind of in here. But for the most part, it's wet on the ends, dry on the roots. But I'm just going to give it another little hit with my hair dryer and finish it up. So, 
the drier my hair gets, the bigger it gets. But I'll check back with you in another 30 minutes when I'm ready to leave. Okay, so here we are. I'm done with my hair. I've got my makeup on. I'm ready to leave the house. And so this is kind of the last step. And I wanted to show you what my hair looks like. Basically, I dried it about 80% of the way with my diffuser. And then it's just kind of air dried on its own. And I came in and I just kind of crunched it to break up some of that product. But if you look really close, can you see this? This is, see how it's curling? That is because I wound it around my finger and told it where to go. You can see that the curl is starting in that direction because that's how I wound it. If I had done it in the other direction, it would be going this way. So that's why that little bit of um, using your finger and twisting around your face is super important. But this is the one little crazy piece that I forgot to curl or I curled, look at that. I mean, just look, I think I took it in the wrong direction because I was busy talking to y'all, but we'll make it work. Anyway, so there it is. You can see, look at that gray. It's starting to peek through. Like when you look at me from the front, I can start to see a little bit right there, but you can see my curl pattern. That's how I do my hair, y'all. I love the products that I'm using right now. I've not changed my hair products at all since I started um, going gray. I've kept with the same products, the same shampoo, and the same conditioner. The only thing I did add was the Joico Purple Balance Shampoo, which I did a whole video about, so you'll have to look that up. Within the next hour or so, it will probably puff up just a little bit more. I got this one. One bonkers. But anyway, that's it, y'all. That's my hair. That's the crazy, the curls, the gray, and that's my answer to has the gray hair changed my curls? And the answer is yes, no, sort of, maybe, and I don't really know. <laughs> so I don't know if that helps you at all, uh, but I hope it gave you some insight into curly hair, gray hair, transitioning to the gray hair, and I hope you come back to watch more videos. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my page. I would love to have you along with me on my journey. And until next time, I'll see you later.